Hey, we gotta go. Uh huh. I mean it. Oh, come on, David. I don't want to be late. You can't be late. It's a neighborhood party. We can show up anytime. Oh, please. Look, these are our new neighbors, and I want to make a good impression. Who do you want to impress? Will you for once get out from behind this damn machine and be sociable? Meet some people. People are boring. that I uh, got all the uh, best customers and uh, his brother's uh, <laughs> girl. Son of a... Oh, uh, Phil, the grill. Come on, honey. Jim wouldn't want that. Remember, we just, we're here to relax. Forget about the police. I know, I know, I know. Okay? The guy's such a jerk. I know. No, just take a deep breath. Okay, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm okay. David, <laughs> this is Carolyn and Stephen. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, how'd you guys meet? Grief counselor. After, well, after my husband died, I had to reach out. Steve's been my rock. I'm so sorry. Can I ask what happened? It was... So, did you see the game? Uh, no. <laughs> so, you're in construction too? Yeah. Don't need insurance though. Uh, that's for losers. <laughs> that's okay. I don't sell insurance. I'm an investigator. Investigator? Uh, well, that sounds kind of boring. I mean, follow people around or? No, actually, it's nothing like that. Hey, look at that plate! What a son of a gun! What a character. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I have to apologize. Um, Dave. Dave, of course. I've just been really touchy since my brother's murder and you Phil. Was murder? Yeah. Two years ago. Oh, what happened? He was shot. At work. Oh, man. That, that sounds really hard. I can understand why you're upset. Phil was the last person to see him alive. What? Amy, how could you do that? You and Jim had a good relationship. Do what? You know what I mean. How could you let Phil talk to Steve like that? You know what he's going through right now. With Jim's death and the police thinking that he did it and the stress of trying to take over the business. Carolyn, you have no idea what you're talking about. Stay out of it. What? Say that. Stay out of it.
Hey. Some party, huh? Yeah. Did you catch the part about the murder? I told you that earlier, Carolyn's husband. No, Steve's brother was murdered. What? Yeah. When? A couple years ago. What? Here? Yeah, locally. It was big news. Oh, that's scary. I mean, suddenly this place doesn't seem so safe anymore. What is this, Murder Central? I'm, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I mean, coincidences do happen. And sooner or later, you're bound to find two people who both had deaths in the family. I mean, statistically, it's probably inevitable. Oh, spooky, though. I gotta hit it, babe. Early morning tomorrow. Should you clean the kitchen? I'll do it tomorrow. Coming to bed? I'm working on my project. You're in your damn projects. Whatever, I'm going to bed. You there? In here. Oh, God, are you working again? No. Look, I checked the news stories. Phil isn't divorced. His wife disappeared. <gasps> disappeared? What do you mean by disappeared? She just up and vanished one day. No sign of foul play, no nothing. Just evaporated. Okay, now this is starting to get scary. I mean, what kind of place is this? I thought we left LA to get away from things like this. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. But I looked through the police records, and there hasn't been a murder in this town for 20 years before this. And now two people get shot inside of two years, and one disappears? You think they're connected? To Phil? I don't have a clue. The police didn't find anything, but the cases are all still open. Okay, now I'm going to have a hard time sleeping. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure it's not connected. That guy doesn't look like he could catch anybody let alone kill them.